Guys, welcome to a brand new video. Looking back, I forgot to film a decent intro. So welcome to this video, I hope you're all well. This is the story of when I became quite ill at the age of 10 and possibly could have died. Let's get started with the video, I hope you enjoy. It's a mad story. So around September 2012, I started having problems with my ears. So starting off this crazy story, I went to my local GP and starting off he said there was nothing wrong, I just had a basic ear infection. So we left it a while and then by this point I had excruciating pain. It was crazy. I just knew it weren't a normal ear infection because of how much pain I was in. So then we went down to A&E &E, um, and they sent me home as well. So then a few days later, I woke up and my ear was bleeding. I didn't know at the time, my mom told me eventually, but she didn't want to tell me at the time to scare me, so she just said we're going to the hospital. I was then in the urgent care centre. They sent me to Badger. If you don't know what Badger is, I'll leave a link in the description. I keep needing to burp. So after a and &E, I was then sent to the urgent care centre and then sent to Badger. Next I was admitted to the children's ward uh, where they took my bloods, all of that stuff. And yeah, they found out that I had an infection in the body, um, which obviously we knew there was some form of infection, but we just didn't know how severe it was. So after having my bloods taken, I was given a cannula and a drip. Then the next day I was sent down in a wheelchair to have a CT scan and my ear hoovered. That was mad. As a kid, I was so scared of the CT scan. I was like, what's it like? Uh, can I get stuck and all that stuff? Obviously, like as a kid, you're really nervous about that kind of stuff. But yeah, they told me that everything was going to be fine. I was still really scared, though, as I was a kid. So, guys, when the results came back for the CT, it was found that I had mastoiditis. So, guys, if you didn't know what mastoiditis is, it's a serious infection that should be diagnosed and treated with antibiotics quickly. Obviously, I had this for a while, so my case was quite severe, being turned away, etc. So then guys, obviously the doctors knowing that I've had this for a while when the CT scans come back, I was then being prepared for theatre. So if I did have to go through with theatre, they would have to drain the middle of the ear or remove the mastoid bone itself. So guys, mastoiditis is a serious bacterial infection that affects the mastoid bone behind the ear. It's more common in children. So guys, it was giving me a number of antibiotics to try and lower the infection level so then I didn't have to go into theatre and they'd be able to control the infection. I'm pretty sure I weren't awake at the time, but while there was uh, putting the last antibiotic into my vein, they told my dad if this one doesn't work, we'll definitely have to take him to theatre. Being for real. Bro. So guys, a few years later, I had more bloods to see if the bacterial infection had gone down within my body. And luckily it did, or else I would have been going straight into theatre after that uh, to prevent uh, a number of things happening. So guys, there are a number of things that could have possibly happened to me which is kind of a miracle how it didn't, to be honest, in my eyes. After I had this infection for so long. Shut up, birds! Jesus! If the mastoid bone is severely infected and is not removed, it can cause hearing loss and life-threatening health complications, such as a blood clot, meningitis, or a brain abscess, which obviously a number of these things could lead to death, which is crazy. So guys, after this I did have to stay in the hospital for a number of weeks, but it was definitely worth it. I was also assigned my own room so they could keep a close eye on me. So guys, due to all the antibiotics that was being pumped through me, my, uh, that vein eventually collapsed. But obviously, if this weren't done, I would have been sent into theatre. So here's a photo of uh, my arm where the vein collapsed. It did swell up quite a bit, and this hurt real bad. I'm not going to lie. I did, I did feel it. But not as bad as uh, my ear was making me feel. Then after a day or two, um, after a lot of sleeping, um, a lot of resting, I was given this little robot. It was a telly, it had a wee inside it, it was great, um, although I didn't look very happy. This was because I, I, I was still on antibiotics at the time. The antibiotic that was de that they was then giving me after that was called flucloxidine. So yeah, here's me playing tennis on the Wii, I'll put that image up now. Uh, kind of like trying to enjoy myself, but I really wasn't. Uh, to be honest, it, it wasn't helping me much at all. A few days later a magician came in which really, uh, it made me f smile for the first time in a while and it was, it's amazing how someone, someone like that can make such an impact on someone being in hospital and being ill. Uh, he's a great guy. Here's an image of me smiling for once while he's showing us his magic tricks. After that, I was then a very happy boy. <laughs> Went back to my room with my balloons that he made for me, which was great. Uh, as you can see in this photo, I don't look well at all. My eyes are sunk in. I was wearing that hat more than protection for anything to make sure nothing got into my ear. You can see my groovy jammers in these photos. They're great, aren't they? 
I also did have a visit here and as you can see I'm a lot happier here. Time you look a lot, a lot younger on this photo. So guys, eventually I was discharged from the hospital. Unfortunately we can't find the discharge papers but my mum definitely has got them somewhere. So maybe we'll have to dig them out another day. Um, and yeah, here's me uh, coming out of the hospital for the first time. I, st I still literally have the, the thing that they put around my wrist on. Um, and yeah, I was happy my mum to build a Christmas tree. I couldn't wait just to get back home really. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this near death experience video. So guys, I didn't want this video just to be a sad video. Um, obviously the NHS is doing a lot at the minute. I still have a donation link which I will put in the description from where we shaved my dad's head. But obviously they helped me out a lot here. They've, they pretty much say, well, saved my life or me from getting even more ill. Yeah, so the one thing that we can take out of this is that everyone is amazing, like our bodies are amazing. So guys, if anyone tells you that you can't do something, um, make sure to think of the things that you already have overcome and then tell them otherwise because you can do it. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.